Hello everyone, GZ Tech here to show you yet more new impressive technology from Phoenix Contact. Today I want to show you the new Smart Elements High Density I.O. which adds to their existing Axioline platform which is extremely fast and robust. They created it a few years ago. And with this new modular series you not only get plugs of I.O. that are extremely high density but you get a base unit that's modular that you can build up to fit your application. So whether you have digital, analog, thermocouple, etc., signals coming in, you can build it up to exactly what you want. So with that being said, let's take a look at how this IO system actually works and how it compares to the older IO modules in the Axioline platform itself. Okay, so here on the right I have the module carrier, which comes in 4 or 6 position, that houses the Smart Elements I.O. Here is a 16 channel digital input module that I'm going to use for today's demo. And below that I have a 16 point digital output module. Also I have a 4 channel input module that is analog, and also a blank module that you can use to fill the gaps on your uh, module carrier if you don't need to use all the spaces. You can see the module carrier does have a pre-built connector into it and with all bus couplers and PLCs from Phoenix they come with that DIN rail connector which is hot swappable so you can actually connect your bus coupler this is for Profinet or your PLC next to this and have a quick connection there so I'm going to quickly put these uh, smart element IO modules into place here they just snap right in and they do have push-in connection for quick wiring uh, to save labor time during your cabinet installs. So looking at a top view of the older style Axioline I.O. series here, which is 64 points of high density I.O. And comparing that to the smart element modules on the bottom, which is 32 points of digital I.O. there in 15 millimeters of space, you can not only save space up against older style series of Phoenix Contact, but any I.O. platform on the market today.